Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can add additional action buttons in our Power Pages basic form. You can see here, it, this is a list right on the Power Page. And if I will click on edit, you will see that the edit form will be loaded as a pop-up. And my intention is, I want to have an action button here, which will display an action button here, action command. And on clicking of that action command, it will run a workflow to update the status of the uh, status of the record is approved. This is my loan record, and I want to use a action button to approve the loan or change the status of the record using a workflow. So we want to configure a workflow action in basic form in Power Pages. So let us see how it is configured. Directly navigate to the basic form in the portal management app. Let's say I want to configure in the read-only form of the loan. This is the form. So let me open this form. And before that, you have to create a workflow. Okay. So let me create a workflow in the solution. Let me go to make.powerapps.com and go to the solution where my all components are there. And here I can add a new workflow. Inside automation, we have process and workflow. We give a name. Say approve loan. Then loan. Then I want to choose the entity name as the loan, and I want to make it on demand, right? Uh, sorry, real time workflow so that it will immediately update the status. Click on the create, and here I want to define the uh, definition of the flow, right? So I want to define the scope as organization. I don't want the automated trigger. I want to make it as an on-demand process. Then here I want to add a step. The step will be change status. I want to change the status of a loan record to approved. So click on add step and click on change status. Which record you want to change status? A loan record. So use loan record, give a description, loan, approve the loan. Okay, now you can change the status as let's say approved and click on save and activate. This this workflow will just change the status of the loan as approved. Now click on activate. This is a real time workflow and uh, designed as on demand run. So once the workflow is done or configured, you have to go to portal management app and navigate to the basic form where you want to add the uh, button, action button, go to add additional settings. In the additional setting, you will find action button configuration. Here, you will find there is a workflow option. So click on the workflow option. Once you click on the workflow option, you will find uh, any uh, workflow that has been configured as on demand for the entity for which the basic form is created for. So approved loan is automatically displaying in the workflow list. Then you can define a name. Let's say uh, approve, approve the approve it, for example. Okay, approve uh, approve it, which will display the uh, level of the button. And if you want to display some Hindi uh, corresponding translation of this approve it, you can define here. Okay. Next is, if you click on advanced settings, it will give more uh, options here to display. For example, where to display the button. Next is, uh, if you go to workflow button, you will find do what you want on completion of the workflow. Do you want to replace the form or redirect to another page or redirect to a URL? I want to replace the page. Then, what, uh, what, uh, what message will display once the workflow is started? right you can change it what is the button level i have already given appropriate approve it then what is the workflow dialog title you can give here right then uh, workflow dialog primary button you can give what is the button name cancel button button tooltip you can add css right you can add button um, placement also let's say i want to place above the form right and uh, do you want to display as a a drop down or button group i want to display button group for example in without a drop down so if you display drop down that will look like this as i displayed here okay uh, 
uh, as a drop down here but if you choose button group it will display button as a group of buttons so let us use group of buttons for now uh, drop down we have already displayed how it looks like so button group left alignment and uh, button alignment you can choose uh, let's say right do you want to require a confirmation before running the workflow yes uh, this will ask for confirmation before running the workflow okay you can define a message let's say are you sure are you sure to approve the loan then you can uh, click on yes or no depending on your uh, intention then if it is yes clicked then the workflow will execute filter criteria is uh, filter criteria is used if you want to hide and show the uh, or disable enable the button according to the uh, status of the uh, status of the record let's say you have already approved the uh, record but uh, why you want to display the approve it button again right you, you want to disable it so you can write a filter let me write a filter uh, command also you can write some filter command using some uh, method let's say you can, you can write down a fetch xml right let me use a fetch xml and put it here okay here you have to give the uh, entity name sub underscore loan this is my entity name then sub underscore loan id okay and i want to filter by state code so here you have to define uh, where it will be activated okay where when in which condition the button will be activated so the status should be uh, zero means active and status code not equal to approved means what is the status of the approved let me check and go to the loan table and check the approved status column value the status reason yes approved means this one so let me copy this and in the portal management app i'll put it here so whenever status code not equal to approved and status a state code equal to zero means active then only enable the button otherwise do not uh, enable that now click on save now successfully configured the uh, action button to run the workflow for read only uh, form for loan so let us see how it works go to the uh, designer power page designer and click synchronize and then click on preview now click on preview use desktop and once it is displayed you can go to the page called as manage loan and try to open the form which is read only we have already displayed view more option right view more option will display a read only form and here you will find a button you see at the right top corner called as approve it as because we have given as a button group that's why it is showing as like this you can add some CSS also. Let me add some CSS for now. Uh, let's say you want to button CSS classes uh, uh, BTN uh, dot BTN dot BTN primary. Okay. Now this will uh, uh, display the button as a primary button. Let us see how it looks like. Every time you customize anything in the portal management app, you have to synchronize it in power pages. Then you have to preview it to see the see in action. Now let us go to the page. And here click on the view more option. You see, now it looks like a primary button style. Otherwise, you can implement the drop down as I have already displayed in the edit form, right? like this which will display the reaction and select that just using the drop down uh, style that's fine let us see how it works so click on view more and click on approve it as soon as you approve it it will ask a confirmation run workflow are you sure to approve the loan why this is asking because we have configured this confirmation in additional workflow button setting action button setting now if you cancel it the workflow will not run Okay. 
so if you if you uh, click on approve it it will approve click on approve click on proceed now the workflow will execute and message displaying is the workflow has initiated okay now let me refresh it and it will be approved you see so like that you can use uh, workflow actions to immediately execute your uh, workflow from your uh, power pages okay then let me change the drop down style let me go to here and change this to drop down and see how it works let me change the uh, remove the CSS style. And once it is saved, I can synchronize. And preview the page. Now go to the page manage one and check it. Now see now you can see the drop down here you will find approval button and if you click that the confirmation message will display and once you proceed the workflow will execute and display the message the workflow has initiated right and it is refreshing the page once it is executed. Okay. And if you want to redirect to another page, you can also redirect using without refresh. Let's say you want to redirect to another page, so you can go to here and choose without refresh, go to another web page. Which web page? Let's say I want to go to manage loan. So I can choose manage loan. Now save it. So it will not keep on the same page, rather, it will go to the uh, other page. <coughs> Let me synchronize it. And preview it. Now go to the manage loan. And let me go to another page here. Let me click on view more. And click on approve it. Yes, proceed. Now it will update and redirect to manage loan page and it is approved right so you see so depending on your requirement you have to enable the action commands for forms so that you can uh, achieve whatever command you want to or you can achieve uh, calling a workflow. Thank you everyone for watching this video I hope it will help you to work in your project.